All right, back into my Google slideshow. I've already started some animation. You can see that I have four things happening so far. Now, if I want to have them keep talking back and forth, there's a couple ways I can do that. I can have the words they've already said fade out or fly out or somehow animate out and put new ones on top. The problem is if I'm trying to stack things on top of each other, it can get very confusing. I find it easier at this point, once each person has said one thing, to go ahead and duplicate my slide and have the next part of the conversation happen on the next slide. It's up to you however it's easiest for you to do. So right now, I've clicked on my slide over here on the left, so it has that orange around it and orange on the side. Now I press Control D on my keyboard. I have two of the same slide. So now I'm going on this slide, I want them already to be in place. So I'm going to actually delete this animation by clicking on it and clicking the little trash can, sorry. Then I click on this one, click little trash can. I've already got them in their places. And now I can just change the words here. and put it whatever I want to be. I've already got the um, colors, the shape, the size, and the font the way I want it because I had it in the previous slide. And they can just have a conversation. There's already going to be some animation going on. So now when I go, it's going to automatically bring them in because I had it to do it after the previous thing. And the only time I need to click is when I'm going between my slides. And I could just keep doing that and keep having a conversation back and forth as long as I want to. And at the end, on my very last slide, I can um, delete their um, words or tell it to fade out and then have them walk away. Notice that they are keeping their nice social distancing between them.